Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing well. Everything is fine here, and you are looking very pretty today. Thank you so much. Yeah, I saw your status of last day, the Karva Chot, and only yeah. yesterday I got to know that you are married. I think you shared, but I think I didn't pay much attention towards that. And then I told I, you in the first session, maybe right? Yes, I told you. Yeah. and i so yeah yesterday i was just i genuinely like generally i don't check the status of people but yesterday it was like full of karwa chauth and everybody was you know looking pretty yeah. so i checked everyone's status yeah so how yeah. was and it and i saw your status yeah it was good i saw your status also you were maybe you were going somewhere hmm is there any vacation yeah just for yeah we went together uh my brother my one of uh friends and uh my father we went uh not like a trip but uh religious places we visited two to three religious places yeah temples hmm. yeah yeah do you have yeah you have one brother yes only one brother the youngest one We are three okay. elder sisters. He's the luckiest one <laughs> in the family. Yeah. So, do you have anything in your mind to discuss today, or you want a normal conversation? Yeah, we can have random conversation. I have some questions for you, not just related to English. What type of practice are you doing nowadays? Oh, what type of practices nowadays? Honestly speaking, uh, for uh, two to three months continuously, I have been not able to, you know, do practices continuously. Like uh, I am planning to, you know, bring good stuff on YouTube. So I have to read more or listen to people more, like observe them thoroughly. and at the same time in order to help my students i observe people i watch i consume a lot of content on youtube and the uh, learning editing part too so i don't have much time especially for practices which i should do for myself only yesterday i made a plan a proper chart as i always uh, you know share with others to to make a proper chart where you can mention like what are the practices that you do So yesterday I made it. So from today onwards, I'll do. But still, some are the I guess I must say they are habits now that without reading I cannot skip any any day. Like I cannot spend any day. So reading is one which I continuously do every sec every single day. It is not now in me like I have to do it for English, but it is about people. and the things i want to just you know i love reading books that is why i this is in me so reading is one second uh, not every day but sometimes i do the shadowing i want to do it every single day and talking to people is the one which is again a habit that i have to create content upload on youtube and people are also sending emails so i have to conduct these sessions so speaking is already there and yeah learning words also i do sometimes so everything but not that much consistently <laughs> what about you which book yeah i also love reading books so i usually read books whenever i okay. get free time i'm not reading regularly hmm. because now i am at my village so we have to spend time with my in laws so for that reason i'm not that much uh giving time for reading otherwise i am having these type of conversation every day every day wow that's great yeah. hmm you have a youtube channel too right yes i have a youtube channel by my name okay and you upload videos every day or is there any particular yeah. schedule plan that you follow yeah i try to upload every 5 days in a week Hmm. Okay. 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 Five, five days, days a in week. a week. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good. I upload only three, thrice a week. So I take. I yeah. upload on alternate days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which book yeah, are you reading? Hard. 
it is yes nowadays i have started uh, atomic habits just started i haven't read like two three mm-hmm. pages just started like i read just uh, content okay and, yeah. mm-hmm. as Great. i told you i don't get, i don't have time nowadays because of festival and mm. i i am at village now so it is little difficult for me okay okay so apart from that the household chores is there anything else do you do like and youtube and then household chores mm, yeah sometimes i can create content for instagram sometimes for youtube making thumbnail i'm doing all the things by myself so Hmm. Okay. I'm busy. Hmm. Great. Okay. Uh, can we discuss a little small topic, which is I yeah, want sure. to discuss with you that, according to you, how people can choose the right career for themselves, or maybe especially who are in their twenties. What do you think? Yeah, it is very difficult. when i got admission in mba at that time also i uh, do i didn't uh, feel i have to do this uh, in my life but uh, yeah i took admission and I, then i started following my career but after some time i realized no it, it is uh, yeah it is good i can uh, do a job in this but after some time i realized yes i should do uh, i should join any um, like i should choose a career as a teacher so for after realizing that then i started preparing for net because uh, when we clear net so we will become a teacher and hmm. this language also i can teach in this language so it is very difficult in my opinion it is very difficult but by time you uh, you will find your uh, career but you have to try a lot of things then only you will be able to find your interest i have tried hmm. a lot of things like i prepared for banking ssc then net uh, some uh, state examination also i didn't find any interest in banking sector then i stopped no it is not mm-hmm. my cup of tea then i started to very for teaching mm-hmm. exam only and uh, after some time i started doing conversation so then i realized yeah it is also i can do this also so yeah hmm. so, so currently also difficult. are you preparing for teaching Mm, currently, I'm preparing for JRO. I want JRO. to do PhD. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm. And in your mm. family also, you put on your status. Someone cleared. My younger sister. Oh, in which subject? Yeah. Hindi. He want. Oh. She wants to do everything in Hindi, and she is very, very laborious, hardworking, studious, okay. and she does study all day long and. Uh, proud of her like everyone in my home i guess are <laughs> different like she she's the one she is going to yes and she has cracked it with she is doing her masters right now so that time she was doing like uh, when she gave the examinations she prepared with masters and right now she is doing the bed so after graduation masters now bed and she also wants to pursue wants to pursue phd too so yeah, i think right now, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly okay uh, so as you mentioned that over time we realize so how did you realize that what is uh, right for you as you were preparing for banking and i can resonate with it like how banking sounds when we <laughs> that i am not able to you know go with this job i prepared for 2 years and i also later realized so how did you realize it that it's not for you and the other things also that you tried yeah in my case when i shifted to delhi uh, for uh, like preparation ssc and banking i started preparing for both exams hmm. after some time i realized yeah i am getting good marks like i used to give a mock interview mock exams that time hmm. there were uh, some mock ex- exams on sundays only so i used to give that exams hmm. then i realized i am getting good marks in english and uh, uh, this uh, general awareness current affairness these type of top uh, subjects i am getting good marks hmm. but the thing is i am lacking in mathematics i am not good at mathematics i i started uh, spending like 2 3 hours extra with the 
मैथमेटिक्स बट अगेन आई एम नॉट गेटिंग गुड मार्क्स इवन माई मार्क्स वॉज डिक्रीजिंग सो आई थॉट नो कैलकुलेशन आई एम नॉट गुड एट दिस सो आई शुड स्टॉप आई शुड ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट अ करियर वेयर देर इज नो मैथमेटिक्स देर इज नो कैलकुलेशन देन आई स्टार्टेड वॉचिंग सम वीडियोज ऑन यूट्यूब देन आई फाउंड या देर इज वन एग्जाम दिस इज कॉल्ड नेट and there is one only very less portion in paper 1 that is mathematics mathematical reasoning so i can uh, do better if i am good at my subject so i will uh, be uh, able to qualify that exam then i uh, stopped preparing for ssc and banking and i, I started preparing for net exam and so yeah, how it, how long did you prepare for it just one year oh just one year Mm. Yeah. So was it easy for I you guess. to switch and change and then go for something else now? Uh, yeah, it was not easy. Not easy because my family also uh, that time I didn't uh, marry, so mm. my family uh, was thinking I will be able I will be able to get any job before marriage, but it was not possible because uh, there is a, also one. Uh, unfortunately there one incident happened in my family so because of that uh, there is a big loss like uh, my brother uh, died mm-hmm. that time my younger brother he uh, he was just mm-hmm. 21 years old so because of so many circumstances i stopped and then oh, okay, okay. and i started after one year i took one year break because of uh, depression or we can like you can understand the misery things. yeah then i started yeah then i started preparing for net and fortunately uh, i qualified mm. but i after my marriage mm. i'm so sorry to hear that but yeah it when something happens in our own family where we mm. lose somebody it is difficult to come out of that misery that agony yeah. immediately right it always takes a lot of time Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in my case, I was preparing and I was not feeling good at all. And the same thing, like the mathematics, was the same problem that I was not able to crack at all. I was very good at English and then, uh, reasoning. Like I was able to solve reasoning the puzzles and like even mains level of reasoning I was able to solve. But when it yeah. comes to mathematics, I was not able yeah, to yeah. solve the pre examination also. Like. so i same started preparing me. for mains in english and uh, reasoning but not and <laughs> used to prepare like mathematics was always for pre only and was not able to crack even the mocks also so that reason uh, that made me first feel bad about it like i'm not able to do it later i as like sometimes you know very good teachers i feel that are do that do exist so ashish arora yeah. sir that time when i was thinking to quit and start something or try something new so only that time uh, ashish arora sir shared something i i think on instagram that you if you feel that you have something else in yourself if you feel that you can work hard in some other fields and uh, you can do better in other do not just blindly waste your time you can analyze it properly you are good enough to analyze yourself so acknowledge the things and if you feel that you have given your 200% or 100% in last 2 years or 1 year or 3 year whatever the time you have spent and if you feel from within that you are not able to and you want to try something else and if you are not enjoying this you should quit it you should not select it because of the fact that you have invested your 2 years in it so if you will keep yeah. it you will keep investing time of 1 year more than 1 year more when it is 5 years then you are attached to the time itself like oh, oh i have given 5 5 years to this yeah. examination how can i quit it maybe i'll crack this year maybe i'll crack this year so this time will bound you again so that helped me a lot like immensely i was continuously thinking to quit quit but i think that pushed me so somewhere i think uh, many people i never met personally helped me a lot in my you know in directing me the right path in you know helping me to go on the right path so somewhere we need the awareness the you know mindfulness like we are now whatever you think and you get that kind of you know message from the universe that universe is not going to 
come directly in your life yeah. but he will it will send somebody into your life which can directly you feel connected or you get the positive and right message right vibe so i like i started following all these things during the pandemic so i was then also very strong believer of the universe still so that message i really took seriously like something is there and it is for me i don't know about others whoever took that seriously or not but i took that and from that day i thought to just quit it and move on and i'm thankful that somebody shared that and indirectly like many people are there who helped me in this case so i think awareness mm-hmm. observation knowledge our own level uh, and our own acknowledgments like what are the areas you feel you are lacking and you can work towards right mm-hmm. yes and again experience also matters which comes later it's not like uh, you can immediately decide like when i started preparing for banking i thought to become a banker but over time i realized that no it's not for me i think i'll not enjoy it and even my younger my brother also always like whenever we went to bank he was like ye karoge <laughs> demotivating yeah. me he also knew that that didi is not for this she has something yeah. different she can do something different because i you know now because of the barrier of the language like i was not able to speak english properly that I, that is why i was not able to motivate the bigger audience but in hindi in on my on uh, mother tongue i used to motivate a lot like in my school days also juniors even seniors used to come to me and ask me and take advices from me if there is any problem i always had solutions always like people were like if i do this what will happen tell me if i do this what will happen to me like these kind of scenarios used to put in front of me and i was able to give the exact answers like if you go with this in this direction this outcome you will get and if you choose this this will help and even i used to give my opinion to that you should go with this one not with this one every time one of my closest friends every time when she you, when she picked the opposite option she regretted always and she used to tell and after that she thought and she shared with me that i'll trust you blindly now whatever you will say i'll do that only <laughs> because every time when so i choose the wrong option observer. i can say uh, you can say yes so she was like now i'm not going to take use my brain i'll just select whatever you are going to tell so i think that was always in me but the language barrier stopped me to you know connect with the bigger audience that is why i think i picked this language at the same time it inspired me a lot whenever i used to listen to others still i listen yeah. so any anyone is there anyone that you recently follow or like listening to like it changes over time <clears throat> yeah there is one lady i'm watching her content she is from america and she is uploading a uh, shadowing videos oh. so Something i'm like... um, following yeah Oh, okay. Shadow video, like she, uh, first she speaks one sentence, and then she gives ten seconds for speaking. Like uh, who is practicing? Then oh. again, she speaks little fast. Then mm-hmm. she gives one uh, the ten seconds, and then again in last time she speaks very fast. So mm-hmm. in this way, I'm practicing with her, and I'm enjoying. Yeah, mm-hmm. I stopped watching conversation video. Sometimes I watch your video. Sometimes Karishma Ma'am's video. otherwise i'm not watching anyone else video sometimes whenever like i found yeah, it mm. is interesting you are speaking something different you are uh, having different you are choosing different topics so that time only i mm. watch your videos and charisma ma'am okay. video okay yeah that's interesting and i think uh, if you are already determined that you want to learn and if you don't enjoy the same methods same kind of content over time you should switch you should change yeah. but you should not quit learning but yeah. happens with people yeah. when they don't enjoy they just quit they should they should yeah. explore other ideas other methods which can help but you should not they should not just quit it yeah yeah you wanted to add something so now yes i want to say like i i, I have one question for you now i arising in my mind now hmm. you are a full time youtuber hmm. you are not doing any other job or any other thing in your life you are full time youtuber so do you feel uh, this channel gives you financial independence 
hmm. are you financially independent now or uh, if you uh, <coughs> if you were a banker then you uh, will be able to earn good amount of money or now you are earning uh that's really interesting question and i would say i'm not a full time only youtuber i provide sessions to beginners and to intermediates yes, yes. related to this language only yeah related to this so i want to pursue my career in this field only so if i keep both the things together then i think i am satisfied with whatever i am earning right now and in future i am sure that i will be able to earn more so that is why i think uh, the money part doesn't affect affect me that much if i am happy and satisfied so if i feel that i if i would be in bank i would have been you know earning more or good amount at the same time i would have a lot of stress i think i would not be able to maintain health i would not be able to be happy all the time enjoy what i am doing har din subah utho aur wahi sochna like it's it would be definitely literally different which i don't now enjoy but free. now when i wake up i every single day say, say thanks to the universe that everything i need in my life i have nice yeah. family friends love support brother sister environment i am fully healthy i my every you know part of the body works well i'm able to think i'm able to observe i'm able to help my students are happy they are satisfied every now and then i ask them is there anything that you want me to change is there anything that you are not able to understand when when i say when i explain they help me a lot so audience is good students are satisfied i am satisfied everything is perfect seems perfect to me so it is like i am content with whatever i do and still like still i can right now also i can earn good amount of money see because i work only th- thrice a week honestly hmm. i teach only thrice a week i upload videos only thrice a week so four days of the week i'm free like i'm just wow editing videos or maybe i'm just talking to people and things like that the things which i enjoy so it doesn't seem like burden to me at all not even the single thing seems burden to me yeah. so if i start working six days a week and 9 to 8 hours a day i can earn even much more than what i am earning right now but that doesn't right. affect me <laughs> so that is why i am satisfied i am happy with it the thing is really. we are enjoying our life the thing is yeah. we are enjoying our life that is more important yeah and at the same time in future also like if i see my life uh, after marriage also so this is in my in my mind or in my heart that in future also i when i have a kid i want to give a proper whole time to my kid like proper i i cannot compromise at all with anything so if i had if i had any job i would not be able to maybe i'll miss something that yeah. for the very first time what he speaks what she speaks or things he does i want to record everything i want to like spend every moment of my life with that and uh, i i don't know why i'm very fond of this and at the same time i have this in my mind that i'll read a lot of books on motherhood and then parents and all these so there are dreams in me after my marriage so i think this profession is the right to one and that is why i'm really thankful that universe guided me towards this according to my desires according to my like i want to spend the life after marriage also so according to that it is like right thing right yeah yeah so yeah i'm satisfied happy thank you that is important we are that satisfied with our life that is important that is the main aim of our life at the same time you know it's not like you think about banking or other job or money when people meet me they want to be like me many people share that mm. we want to be like you you are very very uh, i think after having this much you are still grounded after having i don't know you know whenever i go somewhere i don't ha- i don't pretend like i am somebody or i have achieved something or i have done something i'm like very normal normal girl i, I come from a village i still live in a village so you know uh, some of the marriage proposals i get got from the different countries people are from india and living are living in different countries they're like 
they sent the proposal and I refused. I said, no, I don't want to be in my place. In I India. am that person yeah. in India. And in even if it is like in Shireganganagar itself, it would be better because I want to be around my family, be around my parents. So, yeah. and living outside made me realize that the worth of family, the worth of being around your own people, and with yourself also like i was not with myself earlier used to believe others blindly used to you know ask during college especially during school i was totally different and then during college because of the you know drastic shift in the environment people language that made me a little nervous and that made me to doubt myself and i am not good enough to in school, like all were like just like me, and uh, nobody was very good at English. Nobody cared about English. Only subject was there in class. Only subject we will considering. Okay, I'm good or not. But in college, it was different. You have to present. You have to speak. You have to interact in a well manner. You have to make an impression. A lot of things were there, and judgment. I didn't know during school like people are judging me or something else. But in college, that somewhere affected. And after gradually, I realized to be around the family. So that is why I refuse. So that is why people say like, I, well, we want to be like you. Some people, some of my friends are earning very, very, very good amount of money, like very. And they ask me, Leslie, yeah. are you satisfied with it? And, I, and they say like, I have money, but I'm not able to feel it that I have. And I say, I'm able yeah. to. Have, I'm happy. They don't I'm have able time to. to spend that. Yeah. yeah. Really good amount of money. And they like, Feel ni aari, har baat ni ban rahi wo. And I say yeah, like, I Mujhe aari hai. that's good, that's enough. And then they say like, I want to be like you. You are earning less than us, but you're so happy, so satisfied, content, and you go with the flow. You don't care. You don't worry much about it. So it's like you're, it's not always money that makes you happy. It's your own habits, mindset. And I believe in everything like happiness is subjective. If you want to be happy, nobody can ever make you sad. Ever. So it's your option so to how, select. Huh. Yeah, so how you, uh, how you are like this? Which makes you like this? Over time, I have become like this. Over time. Earlier, I was not like this. Now I listen to many people. And from there, I spiritual got people. it. Yeah? Spiritual people? Not spiritual, spiritual. people. Not spiritual, very people who have achieved, like right now I listen to uh, that person, Ashish Ranjan, and I'm reading this book. And I don't know why, when I read, when I just spend time with myself, when I write something, I just have, I think, acknowledged or accepted myself entirely. Like there is, this isn't, any, this isn't anything that can help, you know, make me sad. And whenever there is any doubt, anything comes in my mind, like right now I'm sad or I'm feeling, I immediately ask the question to myself, what happened? What's the problem? And I am also surprised sometime with myself only whenever I wake up and go outside, even I will, while going washroom also, I ask, how are you feeling, Rajni? And I feel like, oh. Like, I am surprised that I am able to ask this question to myself. Like, jab aap uth rahe ho, yeah. when you are meeting your friend, you ask them, like, how are you feeling and how are you doing? And the same question my mind asks me every now and then, like, how are you, Rajni? And it's like, then I feel like, how actually am I feeling? If there is something that may be disturbing me or something, I have to tackle it right then. So, over time, I have become, and touch wood, I am. <laughs> I always say thanks yeah. to the universe and I always touch wood that uh, I am able to now present in the moment, enjoy whatever I have and thankful. And I don't have the kind of, you know, anything in my mind to go in, go abroad to meet somebody who has a lot of wealth or have money a lot. No, it's not like yeah. that. If you have a lot of desires, a lot of, you know, expectations, that makes you that miserable person Unhappy. if you have yeah. if you want to have expectations you should have with yourself only if you are not able to fulfill your own expectations how can you expect from somebody else something right yeah correct i think i'm giving you what a is lot the of, name of that book mm -hmm. yeah what is the name of that book uh the by the boy who did not sign okay so the person cracked isro 
got a job in isro in when he was 24 right now mm-hmm. on this book he spent 5 years right now he is a youtuber podcaster and an author and he is writing a new book i am very excited to read Abhishek that abhishek ranjan abhishek ranjan ashish ranjan ashish ranjan ashish ranjan okay yeah so you can just read I never heard. it's interesting i know okay many people yeah. don't know about him i know that <laughs> but when i found him i like wow because i love what i love you should know what you love actually i love listening to people yeah. i love the way they speak so when i listen to him i like wow great so i whenever i get free time i listen to him and right now when i i have listened him a lot so when i read his book it's like he is directly speaking to me he is sharing all these things to me like i'm able to listen to his voice when i'm reading the book too so ne- you have to create a different genre different you know environment for yourself where you can nobody can enter and disturb you ever so this is what i have yeah. created over time like nobody can enter in it now yeah this much strong <laughs> and any yeah. anybody can do it anybody it is subjective if you are willing you can believe me you can any anyone can do it yeah yeah i think i gave a really long answer I don't know why sometimes it happens to me when yes, I start speaking. Answer. I don't stop. Okay, anything else that you want to discuss, or we can wind this session I here. I think we have completed thirty-seven yeah. minutes. I we have. Mm, I have time. another at eleven. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Till then, I have to take breakfast too. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. Okay then. Bye bye. Have a great day yeah. ahead. It was really yeah, lovely talking to you. I was just I was just thinking to talk to somebody. I haven't booked any session with anyone. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm very moody, kind of like if I'm feeling, I can. Yeah. If I'm not feeling. It's nothing. Like some time people ask me, "Why are you like this?" And I like. I just enjoy yes. whenever Nowadays I feel. Nowadays you are not uploading everyday videos. Yeah, thrice a week. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it so doesn't bother me at all. And all the things by by you. Yes, I do. Sometimes uh, solo videos, I ask somebody to edit it for me. But otherwise, the conversation videos doesn't require much editing. That is why just I do on my own. <coughs> yes. Okay. okay then. Bye bye. Have a great day ahead. Yeah. Same to you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome.